Happy Halloween. I was so excited to see everyone who came today for our drive through trick or treating, but I was sad we didn't get to do our in-person Friendly Witch story time. Since everybody's gone now, I came in to pick up some books and I was just thinking, would you guys read these books with me and maybe do some rhymes? Great, let's get started. I'm reading this book with the kind permission of Macmillan Publishing Group. This is The Pout Pout Fish Halloween Faces. This book has these great googly eyes on the cover. Pout Pout Fish here, he's a, a vampire and he's got a couple of little fishy bats. The Pout Pout Fish loves Halloween. Costumes make him smile. His cape and mask transform him to a hero for a while. Dun, dun, dun. It's hard to see his hidden face behind that ghostly sheet, but Mr. Fish is grinning when he calls out, trick or treat. Ooh. In coveralls with stripes, Mr. Fish goes choo, choo, choo. He finds the proper hat and then chugga, chugga, boo. He's a special kind of dogfish. He's a pouty, perky pup. In his snout and floppy ears, Mr. Fish loves dressing up. Perf. Mr. Fish has one last costume and then he makes it in a snack. He's a cheery, cheery mummy. All his chums say, that's a wrap. The end. Yay. If you join me in this rhyme, you'll probably recognize it, but we're gonna do a little Halloween twist on it. We have a bed and we have some monsters. Hmm, I wonder what our rhyme would be. Let's count the monsters. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five little monsters and a bed. I know. Five little monsters jumping on a bed. Will you join with me? Five little monsters jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. But we still have monsters. How many monsters? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four monsters. Let's sing again. Four little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. More monsters, how many left? One, two, three, ready? Three little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off oh, and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. Oh, we've still got some monsters. Just two, here we go. Two little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monsters jumping on the bed. Oh, here's our blue guy, he looks excited. One little monster jumping on the bed. He didn't fall off. He went looking for his friends. Good night. Will you join me with another book? This one I really love, Mostly Monsterly. And this one and my last book will be read with the kind permission of Simon & Schuster for young readers. This one is exciting. Mostly Monsterly. On the outside, Bernadette was mostly monsterly. Pointy ears, huge eyes, fangs, claws, a tail, two toes, and a creepy necklace. Very monsterly. She lurched, she growled. She caused mayhem of all kinds. Those look like scissors. But underneath the fangs and fur, Bernadette had a deep, dark secret. Sometimes, when she was all by herself, she liked to pick flowers and pet kitties and bake 
for a monster, Bernadette was just a little too sweet. When it came time to go to school with the other monsters, Bernadette felt a teensy bit nervous. Ooh, that's a scary looking school. In Monster Moves class, everyone practiced their lurching techniques. Except Bernadette. Group hug, everybody! That didn't go over so well. During creepy noises class, everyone worked on growling skills. Except Bernadette. She burst into song. Love me tender, love me true. I'm a monster who loves you. Someone ate her microphone. And in advanced Monster Mayhem class, everyone conquered castles, dismantled villages, and flattened cities. Except you know who. Hey guys, look what I did. The other monsters gasped. Clearly, this situation called for Bernadette's secret weapon. Treats! Bernadette's classmates crowded around her and smacked their lips. Bump parts? Bernadette shook her head. Fried snail goo? Nope, said Bernadette. Fish heads dipped in hot sauce. Even better, she lifted the lid. Cupcakes with sprinkles! Gross! The other monsters took one look, then hopped off to recess. Bernadette's tail drooped. She trudged to the window and watched her classmates on the playground. They stomped, they slobbered, they scared the leaves off the trees. They're acting like total monsters, said Bernadette. Well, wait! A toothy grin spread across her face. That's it. Bernadette went right to work. I wonder what she's doing. She's got glue and scissors and some paper. Hmm. After recess, the monsters eyeballed their desks. Ew, they grumbled. Those cards are probably nice. Then they took a closer look. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This clipping is from my pinky toe. Roses are red, violets are blue. In this card, I went a choo. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Here's a hacked up gift from me. Ooh. Soon everyone got in the spirit of things. As for Bernadette, group hug. She earned herself a gold star. There's her gold star, it says best mayhem. She did cause some mayhem at that school. Bernadette was mostly monsterly. She lurched, she growled, she caused mayhem of all kinds. I hope you can see that that is a marching band heading right towards a sign that says library. Quiet, please. But we know our library is always quiet. But sometimes she was just Bernadette and that was okay too. The end. Let's do one more rhyme before we read our last book tonight. I like that one about the monsters. But what else jumps? You know what I've seen jump? I've seen spiders that jump. But spiders don't sleep in a bed. Where do they sleep? Spiders sleep in a web. And I think I have five spiders. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Let's try this rhyme with the spiders. Ready? But remember, it's not a bed, it's a web. Five little spiders jumping on a web. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more spiders jumping on the web. Now how many spiders? One, two, three, four. Four spiders, ready? Four little spiders jumping in a web. One fell off, whoop, and bumped his head. 
Mom called the doctor, and the doctor said, no more spiders jumping in the web. How many left? One, two, three. Three little spiders jumping in the web. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more spiders jumping on the web. Just two left. Ready? One, two. Two little spiders jumping in the web. One fell off oh, and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more spiders jumping in the web. One more, let's do this one different. One little spider jumping in the web. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more spiders jumping in the web. No jumping, but it's almost time for sleep. So maybe our spiders come back. Oh, he needs to be up right to sleep. There he is. There he is. Do I have all our spiders? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Hmm, I think I'm missing one. There he is. There's our fifth spider. Let's try counting now. One, two, three, four, five. There they all are, ready for bed. One last book tonight. This book. What's Under the Bed, also a Simon & Schuster Young Readers book. This was something I always wondered when I was a kid. Let's see what might be under the bed. Hmm. Hey Fred, what's that under your bed? Time for bed, Fred. Hmm. But I wanna play with Ted. No, no, it's time to lay down your head. What's that noise? What's that sound? Is there something on the ground? Could there be something under my bed? <gasps> That's a lot of eyeballs. Could it be green or maybe it's red? Does it have a very big head? Oof, I think you've noticed that. Is it tall or rather small? Is it fat or is it thin? Does it have a very big grin? Woo! Does it have long nails? I think it's got bread. Could it have two tails? Oh, I hope it's been fed. Oh, that's a lot of monster. Or it might eat my bed. <gasps> okay. One, two, three, four. It's time to look on the floor. Hey, it's only Ted. There's nothing scary here under the bed. What's that noise? What's that sound? Is there something on the ground? The end. Thanks so much for joining us today or whenever you're watching this. Have a happy Halloween from Pflugerville Public Library and thanks for watching.